Ha! You're back! Did you wish to fight in the Proving today? Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our King. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balaam. Opposing him in Lord Heramot's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Iduken and our future King Balin. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Fighting start, Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Next, you're up against Miyaja and Lukjan. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. They're warrior cast, but their mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. And don't forget Lukjan. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior casts twin terrors, now fighting for Prince Balin, Biaja, and Lukjan. May the stone honor you. When you fall. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! As you say, Exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Well, this bout should be quick and dirty. You'll be fighting Hanashan, one of the legendary Silent Sisters. She's a ferocious fighter and dedicated enough to cut out her own tongue. Are you ready to begin? All right, then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far. 
But how will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! It shall be done. I shall do it. Very well. Which is begun. Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? This should be a good match. You'll battle Wojak Ivo, master of all weapons, prisoner of none. He makes it a point never to use the same technique twice. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Wojak Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Wojak Ivo and Valans. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Jack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Haramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. Piot Naidukin leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? Come back when you've picked your team. Something you need, my dear. Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? The crowd is eager to see another victory. Go down to the ring then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balin, Piotan Idukin has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Idukin. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight!
You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. Through this day, we affirm the friendship between our city and your order. You showed him. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Harriman today. Not bad for a surface one. When my arm heals, you watch out, Duster. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. Ancestors, watch over your path. Ancestors, watch over your path. Congratulations and well fought. My cousin was wise to choose you. I can't believe it! The ancestors came out of the sodding ground to kiss your feet, Duster! That was an excellent showing. We were honored by your participation, Warden. I have 
thought about what the sister said. Our last talk. And? I would like the sister to explain to me the purpose of birds. Birds? What kind of birds? Any kind. The evil little demons that strafe the ground with their droppings. What reason could your maker have for such things? The same he has for any evil, such as the darkspawn, if one were to equate the two. I have a difficult time believing in any higher power that would inflict evil upon the world. Does it enjoy such jests? Perhaps there is a lesson to learn in it. Not all lessons are easy, Shell. Hmm. It's any wonder this maker has so many followers. I mean, birds. What was he thinking? It is begun. Can you believe it? Algren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Algren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. All Mino's son said was how unlikely it was that a bunch of smiths would return safely from the deep roads. Which is true. Ancestors preserve us. That's what the warrior caste is for. But Ogren claimed it was an insult to a paragon. Next thing, they're in a duel to first blood to defend Bronca's honor. Then Ogren starts screaming and runs him through. It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogryn wants to keep risking lives searching. Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. She invented a smokeless fuel that let the Smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Deaths from the Black Lung also dropped. The Assembly said she had the favor of the Ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste, and founded a new house in her name. Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith, and Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. Did you see any guardsmen tell him Ogren was at it again? Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yes, very bad. I shall do it. If you're looking for Lord Doolin Forender, you'll find him at Tapsters, taking his evening drink. These are the personal apartments of High General Lord Harrowmont. No visitors are allowed at this time. Dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. The Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. It is begun.
Warden, I'm afraid the Assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? At this point, they're stone for stone. I wouldn't put any coin on the outcome. It's still up in the air, though. One big surprise, and it could go either way. You're awfully bold, walking right up to me after coming out against Prince Balin and approving. You do know who I am, right? I'm Vartag Gavorn, the Prince's chief advisor. Hope you keep that sense of humor when the Assembly votes Haramond out on his ear. Very well. You found him! Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. Lord Haramont, said to have kicked Castlet in the spring. Raise your voice in support of Lord Haramont, the one true king of Mordemar and It is begun. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Meisel and Guidon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. His Lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyral Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body, and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. Balin resents me because I did not believe his setup. I wanted a full investigation, a trial, not this knee-jerk reaction. It speaks poorly of Balin that Endrin himself was the first to think that he should not be trusted. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs?
The Assembly receives pleas every day from the common folk, begging that something be done about her. So far, no one has managed. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Jarvia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. of Grey Warden Mass, recruitment of Kasma circulating the common. At your service.
Run. Still do.
What? News of the hour, Lord Haramon, unable to win own battle. News of the hour, Lord Balin's claims that Lord Haramon stopped on Dark Spawn. Sucker the warden. Valen will not allow it. 